this. You think about the challenges that individuals who have autism present with, you know, core challenges like communication problems, inability to relate to other people, really not understanding their social world, and also getting kind of stuck around ideas and thoughts and behaviors and repeating those. All of those can lead to really having difficulty interacting with the world around them. And if you think about prolonged experiences like that of really not necessarily understanding what's happening, then you can see how it would be quite easy to develop a behavioral health disorder, that people with disabilities can actually be quite vulnerable. You get to know a child and you kind of know the baseline of that child. We all have kind of a baseline of how we operate, how we function, and the same is true for a child on the spectrum. So once you know the baseline, then you start to look for what falls outside of that. In the same kinds of things that you would see in a more typical population you'd see in a person with autism. They may have problems with sleep. They may have problems with appetite. And also you might start to see them begin to avoid particular situations, avoid going to school. And sometimes that's a symbol that what's happening is really having an emotional impact and they might be afraid to go. There could be bullying going on. There could be fear of failure with the academics they're presented with or with social situations. So it's really looking for those signs that are outside the, the baseline of operation of functioning of that person.